Hello everyone, welcome to the Versa Network's SD-WAN course from Orhan Ergen LLC. My name is Navid Yahyapur. I will be your instructor for this video series. I'm the CCI service provider as well as enterprise infrastructure instructor at Orhan Ergun LLC. I have worked with different SD-WAN solutions from different vendors, such as Cisco SD-WAN, Versa SD-WAN, and VelaCloud SD-WAN solution. First of all, we will go through the theory and design. I will talk about the software-defined networking, as well as especially software-defined wide area networks, and what were the problems, what were the drivers that this SD-WAN is trying to solve them. We will talk about it in detail and see what values we are getting by using the SD-WAN solution and building overlay for that SD-WAN solution. Then I will do some comparison with Cisco SD-WAN solution and Versa Networks SD-WAN solution. When I'm talking about the theory part, as well as doing the hands-on lab, I will specifically compare some technologies, the deployment model between the Cisco SD-WAN and the Versa Networks SD-WAN. We have a great sophisticated lab that is especially designed to cover many technologies and how to deploy them on the Versa Networks SD-WAN. There are some also challenges that we will solve them step by step and I will make sure but providing a good explanation you will be able to understand them and solve those problems. This is our lab, as you can see in the topology. It is based on EVE-NG emulator. The file is going to be provided for you for both professional as well as community editions of EVE-NG. First of all, when we jump into the lab, uh, I will do configure the control nodes. The control nodes, such as Versa Director, it is something like we manage, let's say, Versa Analytics, it's gonna be our analytics engine. Versa Controller, this is something like vSmart and vbound in the Cisco SD-WAN solution. Then I will show you how to use the templates to configure these devices. After getting those control nodes ready, we reach to the branch nodes. We need to onboard or do staging for the branch or edge devices. I will show you in detail how to get these devices ready and make them to be part of SD-WAN network. Then the reach part is this one, branch devices. It's all talking about the branch devices and including the configuration for different technologies. The configuring PECE, provider edge to customer edge dynamic routing protocols such as OSPF and BGP on the branch device, LAN side OSPF, how we can have the OSPF protocol in the LAN side and get the routes from the LAN side and advertise them to the overlay, to the other branches as well as getting them from the overlay and advertising them to the local area network site. Virtual router redundancy protocol as a first hop redundancy protocol, it's a standard one, is also important. I will show you 
how it is working, why we are configuring it, and how we can configure it on the Versa Steven branch devices. Then we will talk about the DHCP server configuration on the branch devices. And another important part is control plane examination. Unlike the Cisco SD-WAN solution, we are not using uh, the proprietary protocol such as o OMP, Overlay Management Protocol, which is being used in the Cisco in this Versa Networks SD-WAN. Instead, Versa SD-WAN is using the multi-protocol BGP, MP BGP, and using different address families and sub-address families, let's say different network layer reachability informations to handle this overlay when it comes to the control network, when it comes to the overlay network. Then we will talk about the direct internet access and split tunneling idea, how we can provide the internet access without sending the traffic to the remote internet breakout, such as data center internet breakout, for example. It has some benefits. I will talk about them. We will talk about one of the most important features in the software-defined wide area networks. It is related to the application traffic steering. We can consider the SLA of the transport links in order to steer the traffic of some specific application over some link. If something happens to the SLA of those links, we can automatically switch over to the other link and use them as the steering the traffic over there. Then I will show you how to create the application steering policies using the templates and apply them to multiple devices and get benefit of the application awareness as well as especially steering in the Versa SD WAN networks. Then, SD WAN solutions, most of them are some kind of combination, let's say in general, I'm talking about some kind of combination of multiple devices in one device. It's a great all in one security box as well as great router and edge device. It has great features related to the security stuff. It's a complete next generation firewall and we can configure it on the branch devices. I will show you how to configure some of those features in the next generation firewalls in detail and you will understand what capabilities this Versa Networks branch device has. Thank you for watching and I'm excited to see you in the course. Let's jump into the theory part.